All right, well, let's start at the front here. So I, I literally have done every bulb in here, LED, like everything except the headlights on this vehicle and the taillights and, and turn signals outside. I have to get those replaced. That's what I'm uh, working on next. But I started up here. Um, I have my uh, cab light there. Um, of course, when I open my door, that comes on. That's an LED bulb replacement. I even replaced the two map lights with black light LEDs. They're UV, just for fun, because I almost never use those. But when I close the curtains, I get a nice, I get a nice color here. And of course, you're going to read a book; it'll glow in the dark. <laughs> Anyways, I really like those. Uh, so the, those bulbs were just a few dollars a piece. Um, I have along the floor here. Now, if I open my door, it's got the uh, the floor lights right there and there, right? So built in. Now, what I did is I tapped into, well, first of all, I replaced those bulbs with LEDs because they were incandescent before. I replaced the bulbs with LEDs and then I tapped into this one under the seat and ran a wire under the carpet and then connected it to a strip light here on the door. So now I have a step light. So at nighttime, when you walk in and open the door, Right? It's just on the door switch right there. They come on. So I got a step light. Here's another one of those three watt LEDs right there. I almost never use that because I use this one here. This is a strip of LEDs. These came with the aluminum uh, case on them. I found them, I, again, just do some searching on eBay. You could spend hours there looking for all their LED lights. And I found those, I got about six or seven of those strips. I think it was 10 or $11. Like, good luck. If, if you can even find those at an RV store or something like that, you know they're going to be like 10 or $11 a piece, not six or seven. So some of them uh, were a little bit, they, they were a little bit long. Like, for instance, the one above the stove I put there fits just perfectly. Way better than uh, using the original light. I still have to fill that hole where the original light was. But uh, this one was uh, not quite as long. So... I actually just trim the aluminum off and cut the lights because you can cut the lights usually every three lights or so. They always have a mark where you can cut them. And then just wired it in. There's 12 volt power under there and put a light switch on it. So everything's on switches in here. Now, those lights, those lights are taken care of. Uh, the step light I've taken care of. Now these ones, these are just your standard RGB LED strip lights which you can buy everywhere. And I mean everywhere. You don't even need to go to eBay. They're just cheaper on eBay. And they look like this. They're just LED strips with the 3M tape on the back. So you can stick them up on the wall or stick them around a window, whatever you like, right? And you can get them in different colors or you can get them in RGB, which means red, blue, green. So you can do all sorts of colors. And they usually come with a little controller, a little remote control and a, and a uh, and a natural remote. This little black thing right here is the remote for these lights. I have to do something to make that look a little nicer, but now you point the remote anywhere near that and you can change the colors. Red, green, blue, purple, white, what they call white, and you can and there's even you can even make them flash or turn on and off or fade. You can do pretty much anything with these. So, very very nice. Now the track, that's different. The track, uh, I forget what I searched online, but just look for LED track or, uh, you know, um, uh, I, I think that was the term I use, uh, track lighting or um, uh, LED, uh, I, I don't even remember what it is. Do some search, guys. Uh, I, I have no idea where the place was. It was almost a year ago that I bought these. I just found them online. They came up from the States somewhere. These cost more than the lights. The lights only cost me about 15 bucks. The tracks cost 100 bucks, but then I cut them to fit and you actually slide the LED lights into the track. It diffuses the light and makes it a really nice professional look. And these lights are wired into a, a power I had under the cabinet and just drilled a hole behind it and put it right through the strip and then it goes back in the cabinet that way. And then I have an extension. You can just use two, two wires if you don't want to buy the LED light extensions and just connect the positive and negative. Running from there, behind the fireplace, which by the way, I'm going to turn off because it's really warm right now. It's 14 degrees Celsius. So I think that's like 55, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so those lights are running back behind there, behind the couch, the seat here, under the bed, up this wall, and then connect it again to those st strips back there. So it's all connected to one switch. You see, 
I don't like having everything separate. I don't like having wires hanging anywhere. I like to have it all professional looking. So all the wires are hidden just like it was factory and then having them all on a, on a light switch. So put them here. Here's the switches. This one is for the amplifier. This one is for the lights. So I flick it again and the lights pop on. So when I leave, if I'm gonna leave the motorhome for a long time, I just flick off those switches. These two, I haven't done anything yet. I'm going to probably put an inverter on one of them and I got something planned for the other switch as well. But this was eBay too. This RV light switch was, I think, $12. Mm -hmm.